Hello everyone. Let us today see how to upload a video to YouTube. There are only two requisites. One, you should have created a YouTube channel and you should have your own video. Let us see now. Here we go. Click on the icon on your right hand side which is your channel logo which says your channel and this you will be you will go on the home page of your channel this is the home page and up on the right hand side you say create a video you click on that upload video is the second option and just wait for a couple of seconds this is the interface select file or drag and drop a video file to upload i will demonstrate to you how to select a file it's very easy to simply drag and drop a file but many a times we are not at all comfortable by doing so so select a file click on that and wherever you have selected your file please go into that particular drive and then click on the file and the file will start uploading now it's very important for you to note that uh, uploading a youtube video is extremely easy there are a lot of options there as we go and see the whole youtube video please remember that unless you see till the end you are likely to miss out a couple of things which are pretty important and as you uh, select your file also remember on the, the various files which are there they are usually to be made in mp4 format we have selected a file and there it is this is the next interface that you get after you select your files now the top of the screen shows you the title of the video that you had named in your drive but youtube wants you to give a title this is mandatory please remember that you have to add a title now you have a uh, hundred alphabet option if you do more than that please remember your youtube video will not upload so you have to have a title which has 100 alphabets or less than that you can have 1 200 not necessarily 100 the most uh, good part or the most uh, wonderful part about uh, the youtube video uploading is that you can edit several times now here we are we are going to add a title to our youtube video it's always good if you have thought about what title you are going to give rather than you know spontaneously coming up with some idea but then it really doesn't matter because at the end of the day you know you still have an option for editing the second box that you'll jump on to is the description now the description has 5000 alphabetical options that's a huge tall order but again you don't have to um, write out 5000 alphabets or sentences or words you have to simply describe your video as much as you want i use the description box also to um, give the links for my other videos this really does help so please remember this point that if you have got some other videos uh, do paste the url uh, in this description box it helps your viewers to know your other videos as i said you have an option of deleting adding that's the beauty of this uh, whole um, time of uploading the youtube video so don't be in a hurry take your time think about what really you want to write down what you want to convey to your viewers at the end of the day uh, your title your description should be user friendly not too long not uh, very short you know and not to waste too much time on that then the audience is do click no it's not made for kids unless uh, you are 100% sure it is made for kids the next uh, item that you need to fill in is tags so what are tags tags are small sentences or words which uh, help the viewer to search for your video for example 
otomycosis, fungal infection of the ear. So I have given a tag as otomycosis, fungal infection of the ear, treatment, causes. These are words which help or the viewer to type into the search engine and then search for your video. It makes it easier for the search engine also to locate your video. Very important, uh, don't forget to add tags. If you leave it blank, it really doesn't matter. But I recommend that you do add tags. How many tags to add? Well, that the number is innumerable. Allow embedding, deselect, allow embedding. Then I'll tell you later on why. Then this is the option of under which category you are going to publish your video. I have made it as education. There are lots of categories and you can take show how many viewers like and dislike this video. I again recommend that you click on that you click uh, on that particular option. Well, at the bottom of the screen, you'll see that it is still uh, 40 40 percent completed and still about six to seven minutes left for the video to upload all this depends on the length of your video the size of your video so it and of course all in all the speed of your internet you don't have to look at the screen but you can go back it will be uploading in the background and this is the thumbnail which i have created for this particular video this is in a fast forward fast forward motion and as you can see just uh, for the uh, information of uh, how i made a thumbnail for this particular video in powerpoint that can be a separate video altogether by itself do you need to create a thumbnail my answer is yes and no if you have uh, time you can create one if you don't want you don't have to create one i'll tell you why okay we are back to the page and yes the video has got uploaded and look at the thumbnail there are three options this is the beauty of youtube videos or the youtube makers they give you three options to select your thumbnail from so as i said initially do you really want to go back and um, you know create a thumbnail well as i said if you have time the patience uh, and innovativeness you could go back if not do not do anything just wait for the video to upload it will give you three options and you can select one option as a thumbnail and the thumbnail is important because that is the end picture that your viewer is going to see when he is going to click on that particular thumbnail and view your video so all in all a thumbnail is important coming back to our initial talk of uh, editing your youtube video see we still haven't uh, clicked on next which leads us to this particular page on the top you can see that i am adding some more information in the title or adding more to the title and uh, till i'm satisfied i will not click next embedding is uh, initially we said we will talk about it is something that somebody without your permission that is no copyright at all can use parts of a video or your whole video into their own video this is the thumbnail that i've clicked on let us see where we are said it's in the e drive and there it is you click on it say open and there it is the thumbnail that you have created will uh, occupy the place uh, in the place that is designated for the thumbnail to be and at the end of the video i will show you how the thumbnail looks like so please again do watch the video till end let us see what is remaining nothing is remaining okay let us check our video there you have the video plays so your video has been uploaded properly um, do check your video if it has been uploaded sometimes you do get an error you have to um, keep cross checking some things before you actually jump to the next page and then again remaining on this particular interface we are seeing 
the top upper side that is the details okay oh, that is details then you have the second option which is video elements and visibility now we are on page one or option one which is the details just cross checking I have deselected uh, this yes it's made for case please do that then allow embedding deselected publish to subscriptions uh, feed and notify so do click that click show how many viewers like and dislike this video where very on youtube i think you should do that so you do know where you stand why some people like why some people don't like but all in all i think we should make videos that everybody likes there you at again cross checking my video it's working fine that is the thumbnail okay so all in all yep let's go to the next page so because everything seems to be in order there's nothing left out you know title descriptions all done okay now we've on to the next page the second page is about video elements there are two options so one says add an end screen this is important to uh, from the point of view that your viewers have an access to your other videos if you click add this is the option that you're getting it opens up a page wherein your other videos have been uploaded my video is how to download itunes okay and uh, i have selected that in this particular um there it is okay and um, the option that you need to select here is a template okay you click on plus and that is the the template you click on the template and you have option of two templates there are several templates that you can click from okay best to view and choose specific videos i suggest you click on choose specific video so so if you click that you go back to your page and of course select out this video there you have it and the end screen has popped up into one template you have a selection of two templates one done one to go so let's now select the second template okay there so the second template again choose from a specific video so the, the first one was how to download itunes and let's see from where we can select we need one more end screen for our viewers okay baby yawning at three months in the womb that's the second video i would like my viewers to see after they have seen this so we are done with the two templates our end screen is ready check 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 all the boxes anything needs to be fed but there is something here that i want to tell you this particular video you can see the timing five minutes and 50 seconds and six minutes and 10 seconds so your end screen is going to be on for like 20 seconds you can reduce that to 5 15 20 seconds but uh, as of now i would suggest uh, that you leave it click the save button unless you do that nothing is going to be saved so please do that please don't forget to click and of course without that you shouldn't go over to the next page which is the final page okay that's very important and uh, if you just want to change your timing um, you can do that but i suggest as of now you do leave it as it is so save click on save and you come back to the second page of video elements there is a green tick there which tells you that the end screen has been uploaded so details page number one over video elements and number three the most important page of this whole uploading uh, uh, whole uploading part of the video next 
this is the third and final page that you have to actually cross check see I am looking at the video that I have uploaded with the thumbnail now can you see the thumbnail that is the importance of the thumbnail it should be attractive well all are attractive even the option that YouTube gives is attractive but as I said you could do this on your Android or even on your iPhone PC or a laptop so the third and final option visibility you know there are three options you have private unlisted and public your video is going to be public it's for a wider audience than audience that encompasses the whole world okay so just do not schedule your video you know it I don't know I am not very keen on scheduling the video you can read other options and just go in for publish and wait for a couple of OMG that's the video uh, final interface of the publish that is the YouTube uh, URL or the link that you can forward to practically everybody you know so now you are seeing the other platforms where you can share your YouTube link YouTube makes it easy for us to share your link to other platforms too this is the home page of your channel as you can see now it shows that your video has been made public restrictions and there are very many options that you can look up into and the home page shows on the top side the video that you have just uploaded once uh, you have done this you can go back to the google search or any other search engine and click on the youtube icon go into youtube and search the uploaded video you should remember to enter the search the exact words of your title it becomes very easy for google to search and there you have the right on top the video that you have just uploaded well it's your video which you had uploaded is it time for a celebration not yet double click and take a look the video which is now on the world wide web this is the video your video again that you have just uploaded and you can see this is of course demonstration purpose so it's our video and let us see yep and there you have all the things that were inside your video in the video you are able to see them the point that I would like to drive back home is the ending of the video wherein yeah here there the end screens this is what we wanted to see so the importance of the end screen is at the end of the video if your viewer clicks on any of these uh, videos they are likely to see them so please do subscribe to my channel thanks for watching leave a like hit the bell icon thank you